got the Honda Civic in today. We're going to do a oil and filter change on it. Just jacked it up, got it up in the air so we can get underneath and crack the bolts off. Beautiful car. So tucked away down below under here, we've got one sunk bung, 17 millimetres. We'll whip that out and get the oil out. The oil filter is tucked away just here above the drive shaft. I'll show you that in a bit more detail in a minute. Okay, let's get this show on the road. So we'll pop a 17 millimeter onto that and just crack that off. Close to it. And away we go. We've had the engine running for a bit. It's nice and warm, the oil's coming out beautiful. It's nice and thin. That won't take long to drain down. So that's down to a wisp now, so we'll pop the bung back in. Whiz that back up. That's nice. These aluminium sump bungs are absolutely fantastic. Never had an issue with them. Never ever, they're brilliant. Okay, right, now's the tricky one, which is this oil filter, which is tucked away up, up here. If I come at it from this angle here, it's far easier to get to. And here it is. This is the jacket that's coming off. So I've got my filter tool. I'll slide that in up, up there. These can be surprisingly tight. I mean, I put this one on a year ago, but obviously the heat and everything has just made it really get tight. It does shift after a bit of work. You can use different kinds of filter wrenches. This one's a claw type blue point but the uh, strap ones do work quite well as well. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. Uh, let's see where we're going to get the wheel dripping out. Because it does tend to run over a lot of stuff. Here it comes. It's making its way down. And where's it going to go? There we are, beautiful. Yeah, 
Well, somewhere around there I've got a new one. It is. So I've got, I've got the new one now. I'll just give those a little rub so it's nicely oiled around the seal. Right, so the new filter, we've oiled it around. And then we'll go back in the same way. Back up there. And whiz it up on that thread. So with these, it always go hand tight. And then a quarter of a turn just to nip them up. With the tool. If you're using a claw type wrench, be careful not to crush the filter. Let's get rid of some of that oil so I don't get it all over me. You can also get the cups which sit over the back of the filter, uh, which are an exact fit to undo and tighten. They're very good, but there's an awful lot of sizes. Okay, that's up nice and tight. Just need a bit of a clean up now. Get rid of all this oil that's dribbled on the frame and everything. Off the rubber, the rubber boot. Just turn the drive shaft around so we can clean the other side of it as well. Okay, I'll give that a spray with some carb cleaner just to try and wash off what we haven't got so I'll give this a really good spray round this carb cleaner is brilliant for cleaning the oil off it just dissolves it it drips off we give it a wipe looks as good as new we don't want it dripping and causing problems in the future there we go all nice and clean under there beautiful Still looks mint under it. So we've got the 5W30 fully synthetic oil. Let's drop that in the engine and get the lid off. So according to the book, this engine will take 4.5 litres of 5W30 fully synthetic oil. We turn the carton slightly on its side just to help with the flow as we're tipping it. Trying to avoid any glugs. Any glugs, if you're tipping it too fast, the glugs will come out and it'll go everywhere and drip all over the engine and down on the floor. So nice and steady with it. So I'll run the engine just for a short period to allow the oil to circulate, fill the oil filter and get some pressure around the engine. It purrs like a kitten. <laughs> Bottom stick. Bottom stick. Let's bang the rest in. 
I've got a real soft spot for this car. I owned it for five years before selling it to my good friend who now owns it and looks after it really well. He's had it for about four years and it has never ever given us any trouble in all that time. It's amazing. We were checking the service book and I've actually changed the oil on this car 11 times over the past few years. And it's now done 69,000 miles. I always like to put it in steady, the last bit. I don't want to overfill it. I'd rather be over cautious than put too much in. So it's hard to see it, but at the minute we're halfway between the bottom dot and the top dot. From the bottom to the top is one litre of oil. So we just need another half a litre to go in there. So that was the oil change on the Civic. Absolutely love that car. Love to drive it. It's an absolute beast. Really, really quality. Everything about it is, is beautiful. The Honda's superb reliability. So if that was any use to you, if it's helped you in any way, drop me a comment, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.